What's up? Alexa One here playing DTT chess. And we're gonna go knight f6 here. And let's see. Let us play e6 for. Uh, we haven't done that in a while. And now we're gonna play knight e4. We're gonna pin this knight. Okay, so this knight e2 is. Uh, What's well, known, but it's not anything special. So it's all uh, this this position is all about the e4 square. Um, we want to keep this square. And although we're down the bishop pair now, um, we do have some compensation opposed to that. So yeah. Uh, okay. So d5 is attacking g7, but if d5, I'm gonna go e5. Let us move our knight somewhere. We could have took maybe. No, we couldn't. This feels like we should go queen g5. So one of his ideas should be to play c5 himself. Yeah, that's probably the best move. Let's go e5. So c5 is mostly an annoying move now. It's not not really possible anymore. I'm gonna go f4. If he takes, I'm just gonna take with the queen. I wanted to take with the rook, but bishop c1 is annoying then. Oh, he didn't take. So. We're, we're worrying about nothing. Um, now the c5 break is some something. It's all he got. All he's got, really. The only break he's got left. So we have to watch out for that one. But otherwise, doesn't really seem like he has another ch uh, well plan actually. He does have another chance, but okay. So maybe we should get our bishop in because we want to play queen h4, but then h3 and well, h3, queen g3. How is he gonna defend rook takes h3? Ideally, he wants to play king h1, but then we're gonna take f2, so. Seems like we're winning this h pawn, and then his position falls apart because queen h2 is coming and moves like that. So, okay, let's take. Okay, so now we we've gained a pawn. Let's see what to do. So queen h2, king f2, and then one. I don't see a continuation. Mm, I'm gonna do it anyways and play rook g3. So he's still nowhere close with this c5 break, which is nice. The fun of it is that this king is isn't safe here as well. But yeah, how to continue, how to continue. Let's just move up our pawns. Because he, he doesn't have anything on the queen side. B5 with this square on C5, and if if it takes, we just take back with the rook. And have the square as well. And if C5, we're just going to take twice. Okay. The one drawback is that we can't really use this bishop or this knight. Because we're needed, we, we'll need this to uh, defend against the, these breaks here. Okay, so it's time to take. 
Let's move our pieces to the... Oops! I just gave him a pawn, but he didn't take it. Queen of two was winning a pawn. Anyhow, we have to watch out for our time as well. He's trying to get into an ending. Which I'll, uh, I'll oblige him. Now he can play c5. So I've I've waited the whole game. <laughs> I should have checked first. Ah, it's still okay. I can take this one now. So okay. It is somewhat scary, the time situation. I shouldn't be thinking a whole lot now, but I am. Oh, wow. I'm giving him my pieces. Uh, anyway, we get the flag, but wow, that was a bit messy. Um, okay, let's have a look. Because I was totally in control, and then time pressure came, and well, I wasn't anymore. So this 94 line is is pretty fun. So there are some. This is the main move here. F5, bishop d3, and then we are just gonna give him a pawn. He can take here now, but d5 is. Uh, is annoying. Queen c2, and then I think we're gonna go queen h4. Queen h4, or queen f6, I can't really remember. The answer wants to play e5, which is, if if it's possible, which it seems like it is, it's pretty crazy. It takes in d4, I guess. Ah, oh, bishop f5 is the, the point. Okay, so I haven't seen that. I could add, add that to my arsenal. Normally, uh, play continues like castle, and then knight e2. Or knight f3, knight f3, I believe, and then b6. And then he can still take, but this d5 is still somewhat annoying. And we're just gonna play. This bishop can go to either a6 or b7. I usually put it on a6 because this diagonal seems to be where all the fun is at. Um, so yeah, that's the main move. But it's, uh, well, it's nothing really. We're using this pin, obviously. If he goes a3 here, we're gonna take, and then we get the added added bonus of him having a a worse pawn structure than in the game. So queen c2 is probably fine. F5 is also fine, and then a3. And now I have to take on c3. If I don't, I I am losing a pawn, and this pawn, well, still d5 maybe. I don't know, but. Yeah. Taking here is definitely better. And uh well he's have to, he's gonna have to take back. And here we went D six I believe or B six, yeah. So we want to put our bishop here, because this diagonal is the best place for a bishop. And here we went D six I believe. So if he goes d5, I'm gonna go e5, and then put our knight somewhere. Or even knight d7 and c6. Uh, he went bishop e2, and maybe I could have took, I don't know. It feels like, like we can't really take, but because of this diagonal being <laughs> just pointed at my king as well as the rook now, but... E4 is the move he wants to play. Engine. So still D5, E5, F4, and nothing's happening. Queen H4, Knight D7. Yeah, maybe we could have took. Yeah, and here he should have went C5 somewhere, probably here. So the threat is C6. Of course, b takes, b takes, b takes, e takes, and bishop d5, and we're somewhat fine. Still bishop c4, and 
It seems like white is definitely not worse. Bishop b3, uh, queen b3 maybe? Then knight f6, yeah. I don't know, maybe it's holdable. The c5 is definitely one of the main moves here. Instead he went d5 and then now his c5 is never really gonna come. So I thought he should take. Because at first you want to take with the rook obviously because your queen is much better placed but rook takes bishop c1 is annoying so queen takes then bishop c1. Yeah. In this position his bishops are definitely a factor. After he closes it up his bishop aren't 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 as good as my knight and bishop or I mean aren't better usually the bishops are better than uh, the bishop pair is better than the knight and bishop but in this uh, disposition it's not really the th case because well um, these bishops don't really have a future anymore this bishop is looking at this pawn and this pawn whereas this bishop is looking at my no, no not that one then the bishop would be cross-eyed, but no, it's looking at e5. And if he'd have uh, one one break to open up the position like c5, it wouldn't be such a big deal, but uh, he doesn't really have one. And I played a5 just to uh, hope he can't really play e f a4, a5, but I, I should probably wait with, uh, with a5. Um... I should probably play it after white plays a4. So, I don't know, say I'm, I'm making some nonsense move. Now we should play a5 because then we're threatening to take there and get this square. Whereas now, um, after a5 here, he can just keep the pressure on this one and my rook is somewhat behind it. Uh, and also, he can try just like he did in the game but very slowly. He can play. Um, so let me make yeah, queen d2 and bishop c3, and then I have to choose. Well, it's not really choice. I have to take on b4. In a position like that, because um, if I allow him to take on a5, well, I can give him a pawn, but I doubt that something. And if I give him, if I don't want to give him a pawn, I have to go a4, which will fall eventually because I can't really defend the pawn on a4 and he can attack it at least twice and probably three times um, so yeah it is a it is an interesting position c5 if it's possible the engine wants to play it and if it's possible it's probably fine then this one okay so the point is if we take here queen takes c7 is winning I guess knight c5 still though Takes, 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 takes. Ah, yeah, okay, d6 is hanging, sure. Okay, um, but we have to take nonetheless. This is annoying though, this move. Bishop c8, probably taking here and taking there. But yeah, this should, should still be holdable because of the opposite colored bishops. Also, you can take on a5, which is maybe better. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably a good move. So c5 for him here. Instead he went rook f2. I think the c5 can be played a lot of times. Because we, uh, well, I missed the whole idea of it. Yeah, and this is a bad move. Queen h4 and queen g3. And here I should have just finished it somehow. Check. Okay, so I guess rook g3 doesn't, yeah, spoil anything. And here I didn't really see a plan. One of the plans is this, and the other one is this. <laughs> and it's unclear which is better. Um, during the game, I thought my queen wasn't ideally placed. So I just made some nothing moves and tried to get into an ending, which I eventually got. Yeah, I thought so. Queen f2 was winning here. Well, at least winning a pawn. Definitely not winning, but 
so during the game I said oops <laughs> so I should have went queen h2 and if queen f2 then just g5 um, so yeah I didn't really I somewhat messed about here this is still fine and this is probably not so good bishop a6 takes takes check take on f1 yeah we're still winning um I took and here I just have to go 98 this queen is ideal here just keeping all, all the squares queen h8 check and then just knight g7 wow it is still scary though uh, I should be 100% sure that um, I, I run out of the checks, which I do. E5 maybe though. It's, just, it's still scary. But yeah, 98 is definitely better. I went queen f8, but I missed this move and now it's just... Ugh. Anyway, we get the flag, but um, so the... The interesting position is where we... Uh, well, we're up of a pawn, but how do we continue? So, uh, let me just type, because that goes somewhat faster. Back, like, twin moves or something. So, yeah, here. So, now we win a pawn. Yeah, we could have went into an ending immediately after just taking here. But then he just has the bishop here, and there's no real problem for him, so check. Okay, what now, what now? So the engine wants to go knight f6, probably trying to get his knight to g4 or something. That's maybe an idea. Um. Okay, so let's see, what is he going to do? So if he makes a nothing move, like bishop c3... Oh, we can also try and get our bishop in as well, yeah. So I thought maybe this was the idea, and if he takes, we have this rook e3 or even f3. Wow, yeah, okay, so this is definitely a move here. If he has to go to e2, then, well, we get our knight in as, uh, on e3. And okay, so, let's see, knight f6, and if he goes bishop c3, maybe we can take first as well, and then play this move. And then move to e3, and if he goes there, we're just gonna take. Yeah, and this is now we're up so much material, this should easily win. So knight f6, okay, what's. The engine wants to go king e2. Yeah, knight g4. Then just move away. So now the threat is taking on h3. And then just rook g3. <laughs> so we're just gonna put our knight on e3. And we're fine. Okay, that is a way to win, probably. It's definitely better than what I did. Because here we don't really have a plan yet. G5 still. Okay, let's see. G4, push B1. Now take on B4. And H3. Wow. Yeah, so if he takes on G3, I'm going to take back and threaten h2 and if he takes on h3 we're gonna take on f3 this is a a more obscure way I guess of winning because we're giving him material as you can see we're down one point but yeah the position is so overwhelming these pawns are just so amazing we're still winning here Okay, so there were multiple ways to win here. I think this g5 is a little less obvious than the knight f6 g4. But yeah, uh, I was thinking way too positional with this knight out. I tried to keep this c5 out, so I thought this knight had to stay here, but it didn't have to. So yeah, anyways, at least we won. This is the winning position. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.